Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Force here, still at BlizzCon, and I've got some really cool new stuff to share with you. The Overwatch Archives panel just concluded, and in it, we got an awesome behind-the-scenes look at how Origins began, including a bunch of early hero concepts and gameplay footage. Things that, you know, eventually led to the game, but also a bunch of stuff that never made it into the game, including, yes, Jetpack Cat. He was, in fact, a thing. They had concepts for him and everything. Thing. So let me just run through uh, basically what they talked about and what they showed off in the panel. So it began with the discussion of the well-known fact that Overwatch kind of rose from the ashes of what Titan was, this canceled MMO project that they had worked on for years, and they eventually went into this brainstorm session after that uh, concept got canceled, and they were to try to come up with an idea for a brand new game. Now in that process, they had an early idea for the StarCraft-based game, and that's actually where the origins of McCree's concept came from. As you can see in this image, this was actually art for a StarCraft game that they were going to be making. And then they were also started testing out this idea for a new space-themed MMO. It was supposed to be at this crossroad planet in the universe where a whole bunch of different alien species kind of all came together, and that's where the MMO took place. Now, when they were flushing out this idea, uh, they had this concept of what if we made an MMO instead of a lot of other games that have, you know, you know 10 classes or 15 classes or whatever. What if we made one with like 50 plus classes? And it was through that idea that the first concept sheet for heroes that made it into Overwatch actually came out. Now we see heroes here like Jumper, Reaper, Architect, Mechanic and Guardian, these all remained fairly unchanged. You recognize pretty clearly who these heroes are in Overwatch. But we've got other heroes like Phoenix, who looks to actually be the early design of Pharah, or Assassin, who is clearly the Genji slash Hanzo design that eventually got split into the two heroes. Longshot became Widowmaker, and Spec Ops and Invisible Hero, maybe that inspiration eventually led to Sombra. Uh, the hero list grew over time as they started to flesh out this idea of a game with a ton of heroes. Now in this page, this is just absolutely mind-blowing. We get, get to see a load of heroes that we've never met, but were original concepts that led into Overwatch. Some really interesting, cool ones that come to mind just looking at this. Uh, Mama Hong, Huntress, Watcher, Rashi, uh, Yetzi, Hivemind, Firestarter. All of these look really cool conceptually. And as you can see here, that this image board is giant. There's a lot of them here that just again never and it never made the final cut even though they clearly look like amazing ideas uh, there was also a ton of early uh, concept art for locations that could be in Overwatch, but just like the heroes, while some of them made it in, most of the early concepts didn't, or they haven't yet at least. This doesn't mean that, that these aren't places that we could eventually see in the game. There was also some rough uh, hero concept sketches. Uh, we can see some very alien looking creatures here, as well as this hockey player. I wonder if that plays into the skin theme that we see for Lucio nowadays, but either way, and then, I think what a lot of you are waiting for, we move on to the jetpacks. They actually had ideas for a jetpack monkey. Kind of got that in Winston to a degree. But th there was also a jetpack alligator and even a dragon type character. And then, yes, the jetpack cat. We can see a couple of concept images here for jetpack cat. <laughs> People just love this idea. I, I don't think we'll ever actually get it in Overwatch, but it's a cool idea. We also got a bunch of of early prototype gameplay. I think it's somewhere between like 10 and 15 minutes of total footage of just showing some of the early goings of Overwatch when they first began design. We have some very, very basics, just the geometry here, and then Tracer, who is one of the first hero designs to actually make it into the game. In fact, she could, originally couldn't even shoot out of her weapons, but she shot lasers out of her eyes. There's also a lot of T-Pose Reapers everywhere, and the reason for this is, is they actually used his character design to do some early scaling of other heroes, as well as the game space itself, uh, the size of buildings, how large corridors should be, all of that. The T-Pose Reaper uh, was the gold standard. They showed some original Farrah gameplay, you know, early on, things still looked a little 
little funny, not a lot of textures or anything, just kind of the basic outlines, the basic geometry, the rockets kind of fired a little funny, but that all eventually came together and got more and more fleshed out. Uh, we saw some early render of Tracer's hilarious run pose. They talked about how back then the head bobbing uh, was very, very severe, and they eventually t toned that down because it was it, it was just way too much, and her legs look like spaghetti. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, also, the first map that they fleshed out was the Temple of Anubis, and we can see that coming together through this early prototype footage. Uh, Reaper's early ultimate looked interesting, to say the least, and uh, we all see continued progression as they work through the lighting and textures and, and improving all this stuff leading up to the first reveal at BlizzCon a few years back when they wanted a playable game. And this was kind of all the work they put into that. Funny things like Hanzo's original ultimate was originally this like giant green brown orb sphere thing. It looked like a big old caterpillar floating through space and just loads of other interesting stuff shown. Uh, it was a really, really cool panel. I really love getting this sort of behind the scenes look of uh, game development development of games that I'm interesting in, interested in or things that kind of never came to fruition. Again, we see so many cool hero concepts that have never made it into the game. Maybe we'll see them in some form in the future, uh, but I really appreciate when devs do this. So very happy that uh, Blizzard kind of took the time to uh, get peek under the curtain for us, show us a little bit of what went into the magic of making Overwatch. And that is pretty much it. A bit of a recap of the Overwatch archives panel. I assume that's going to be it. There's really not much left in this final day of BlizzCon, except for some wor uh, World Cup stuff, and then I think they're doing a voice actors panel today, but we don't expect a, a bunch of big reveals there. I uh, just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to date. Again, some pretty awesome stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.